What will Roman Sionis do with the newfound power entrusted to him by Lex Luthor? Well, let's hop into the pages of Black Mask, Year of the Villain, issue number one, and find out. Alrighty then, so as the comic opens up, we are again reminded the origin story of Black Mask, for those who don't know. He was a rich kid in Gotham City, but a kinda ugly kid, let's face it. A fact made all the more ironic when we realize that young Roman's parents ran a massive cosmetic company, and they also just so happened to be total fake putting on nice, happy faces for the public when in reality, they were super abusive pieces of shit. Who, when they weren't straight up beating their son, forced him to put on a false face for the rest of society, including the Waynes, who Roman always resented right up and including the day that Bruce's parents were killed. In fact, as little Roman puts it, attending the Waynes' funeral sparked the idea in his mind that, wow, you know, dead parents gotta get me some of that one of these days. But hey, you know, that was then and this is now, what is Black Mask doing these days? Well, he's in Atlanta, robbing an armored car in hopes of getting the capital he needs to return to Gotham after the whole surviving getting shot in the head and escaping Damian Wayne's gulag. The plan falls apart rather quickly as Black Mask is the only one pulling it off. He gets cornered by the police, including Rene Montoya, who works in Atlanta now. While also being one of the two questions that's running around the DC Universe right now, even though that's never actually mentioned here and we never see her become the question. Weird. Black Mask is only saved when he's ferried away by one of Apex Lex's drone who makes the same offer to him that he offered to every other villain in the DC universe and that is, hey, take my money, take my upgrades and raise some hell. Here's the funny part though, when Lex hears that all Black Mask wants is to take his money and reclaim his position as Gotham gang lord, Lex kind of laughs in his face saying that whole idea is really unambitious. After all, Black Mask has run crime in Gotham a couple times now, and what has it got him? Absolutely nothing. He says that Black Mask needs to aim higher, that, you know, you're not gonna make it in this world when all you have is just a cool costume and a mask made from your mother's own coffin. No, you need to try new, different types of villainy, like maybe getting a new kind of Black Mask that allows you to steal people's identities. Yeah, identity theft is pretty in right now. After all, why try and run an evil underground crime ring when you can run an equally evil, completely legal, and above-board pharmaceutical empire. All you gotta do is kill the CEO and take his face off, like in that movie. Boogie Nights. Now, eventually, Black Mask ends up becoming Rene Montoya's white whale, what with him killing a couple cops along the way. She takes this case home, and to her girlfriend, Kate Kane, the Batwoman, yeah, these two are back together now. Interesting. Batwoman agrees to help, and together they figure that this new pharmaceutical company has been acting mighty strange recently. First and foremost, it's hired a bunch of Black Mask's old gang members to work security, and they assume that it's only a matter of time before Black Mask makes a move against this place. They try and swoop on in and protect the CEO, having no idea that Roman has actually stolen this dude's face. Having the drop on his opponents, though, Black Mask attempts to use this opportunity to execute Rene Montoya. It doesn't work. Batwoman beats up his goons, and then he just kind of slinks away into the shadows, changing his face again. Ah, but don't worry, you can't keep a good Black Mask down forever. He already has his eyes set on his next target. If pharmaceuticals weren't the thing for him, maybe new media will be. All Roman's gotta do is kill totally not Rupert Murdoch and take his operation for himself as the comic comes to a close. And so that was Year of the Villain Black Mask issue number one, everybody, and overall it was kind of mediocre, I hate to say. Tom Taylor, I know, is capable of doing so much more, but honestly, I think this issue does a great job showcasing perhaps why Black Mask isn't a bigger villain, and that is because, well, Roman Sionis isn't very interesting. There's not much to him. Lex is right. He doesn't aim high. He doesn't have big ambition. Heck, even when he did take over that pharmaceutical company, it's not like he pushed the company into any new, exciting, evil directions. He just kept doing the regular evil pharma stuff. In fact, the whole pharmacy thing really didn't play into the whole origin story about perception versus reality and, you know, keeping up appearances and everything. If anything, it should have started with him taking over the news. It's also not like there's any promise that these one-shots are going to necessarily lead to anything. This one ends on a question mark, but I wouldn't be surprised if no one bothers to even pick up on this thread later on. Ultimately, I'd give this one a 6 out of 10. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but still, it could have been so much better, I think. 
Hey there everyone, it's your old pal Cave Joel again. I want to thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not take a look at some of these other videos I have available from the channel. Then you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Cape Joel, so you're always up to date on what I'm doing next. And hey, if you're in the market for some cheap comic books, might I recommend Book Depository? They're my favorite place to get cheap comic book trades, and if you use my link down in the description, not only will you save a bundle by not having to pay a cent for shipping, but everything you do buy goes to support me in the channel. So, you win, I win, everybody wins, right? And until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Jewel, and I'm going to continue making comic book videos that smack of greatness. Bye bye